Deconstruct. Demystify. Unveil. Unfold. There's more to the arts than meets the eye. If you see it through the looking glass. They say that actions speak louder than words, but if you're a performing artist, and especially if you're a politician, then you know that the way that you present yourself can make or break you. Hello and welcome to The Looking Glass, I'm Saira Akhtar, and this week we're looking at artists who put it all on the line by making the ultimate sacrifice, the sacrifice of self. What's that sound? No, no, no! I use humor to hide my inability to deal with complex emotions. Comedy for me started off with Blackfish. That's where I initially got my roots. Blackfish was Pakistan's first English language improvisational comedy troupe. One of the key things that we learned during our time in Blackfish, and I specifically learned this when I joined, was that ego, or one might even argue self-esteem, has no place in comedy on the stage. Because if you are worried about how you're going to look or how you're going to be perceived by the audience beyond just, oh, they should find me funny, you're not going to go very far. You have to behave like an idiot sometimes, you have to do stupid things, you have to take on accents, you have to play characters, you have to say things you normally wouldn't say in a conversation or do things you normally wouldn't do in public, all for the punchline. Oh, and I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> you sacrifice ego on the altar of the punchline, basically. Get my black suit, go get my tie. With my marching orders, I'm gonna come. I did this thing uh, when the Long March was happening. The Lawyers Movement came out with this whole song. It was all very silly. I mean, from an outside perspective, it was them taking themselves a little too seriously and not having any sense of irony or self-awareness. Uh, and so what I did was I came up with a rap song. Reman be bugging, Sati is a bore. You don't scare me with your 144. I found that if I can make myself look silly, I can use myself looking silly as a pointed critique at someone else who's also silly. There's the Stanislavski technique of theatrical acting, which is the method acting technique, where you give up yourself and you take on the character you're portraying. If you're doing comedy which involves yourself, if you're doing a stage play, you need to be able to give up yourself completely and utterly and let the character take over. And while it's common for performing artists to give themselves over to their characters, here at The Looking Glass, we're looking at something slightly less obvious. We're looking at Pakistani fine artists who've explored the idea of presenting themselves through their art. It's not very often that a fine artist will cast aside his or her models and do away with sceneries or abstractions and turn to himself for reference and inspiration. But done effectively, the self-portrait can speak volumes. A good self-portrait, a true self-portrait, is one that actually catches the whole self, the complete self. Can you tell that I'm insecure? Can you tell that I'm a shy person? Can you tell maybe that I am a person who has these hopes and dreams? The best artists have been able to do that, or at least, if not capture so much of themselves, have sacrificed a great deal of themselves in the paintings um, to provide a greater message. If you can summon up the courage to use yourself as the medium of the message as an artist, it's a great challenge and it's something that is very rarely done effectively, but when done effectively, is very powerful. We're due for a quick break, but coming up on the other side, we're going to be showing you some artists who've used themselves to show us a little bit more about ourselves. <laughs> 